Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents How is Heart Disease Different for Women and Men? Adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology Advances, published on May 2, 2023. Research conducted by Adina Senko, Olivia Manfrini, Raffaele Bujardini, and others from the Laboratory of Epidemiological and Clinical Cardiology in the Department of Medical and Surgical Sciences at the University of Bologna in Italy. See the full list of authors and their affiliations in the accompanying PDF. Read by Miranda Wilson. Abstract. Did you know that your sex can change the way your body responds to disease? We wanted to know how the female body responds to serious heart problems. To do this, we looked through previous studies on heart disease. We tracked how many people died in the 30 days after we knew their heart wasn't working well. Did female patients die more than male patients? Unfortunately, we found that they did. We think this could be because a higher percentage of female patients had the most serious condition, heart failure, after a heart attack. Heart failure means your heart isn't pumping enough blood. However, we don't understand exactly why there's a difference between the sexes. If we can work this out, then doctors may be able to provide better treatment for their patients. Introduction. Do you have family members with heart problems? Are they men or women? We know that heart problems can be different for men and women but we don't know why exactly. One possibility is that it is due to other hidden reasons. For example, older people have more heart problems. Women live longer than men, so a key difference could be age, not sex. In our study, we used statistics to make sure the only thing that was different between our groups was their sex. This prevented any of the other possible reasons getting in the way of our research. We also wanted to learn more about how heart disease works in female bodies. For example, one, some patients come to the hospital with a heart attack, but others come with different types of heart problems. Do women and men always respond differently to heart problems or only when they've had a heart attack? Two, do more women than men get heart failure after a heart attack? And three, do patients who have heart failure die in the hospital more often than patients who don't? The higher risk of death for women after a heart attack is well known, but the reasons for the differences with men are still not completely understood. In the photo, you can see a woman lying in a hospital bed. A medical professional is using a stethoscope to listen to the patient's heart. Methods. To answer our questions, we looked at previous studies on heart disease. We collected data from over 87,000 patients. Each of the patients in the studies came to the hospital with some blockage in their heart arteries. We divided the patients into two groups. A. Patients with completely blocked heart arteries. They were having a more severe heart attack, leading to serious heart damage. And B. Patients with partially blocked heart arteries. Some were having a smaller, but still serious heart attack. Others were not currently having a heart attack, but were at risk. In both groups, the patient's heart muscles were suffering from insufficient oxygen. We measured two things. One, to learn more about differences between the sexes. How many of the patients, male and female, died in the 30 days after checking in? And two, to learn more about heart failure, who had heart failure when they checked in. We also used our statistics to rule out reasons that aren't related to sex, like age, other health conditions, and family history. Results. More women than men died in the 30 days after they checked into the hospital. We saw a big difference in people with completely blocked arteries. Of these patients, 5.4% more women died than men. We also saw a difference in people with partially blocked arteries, but it was smaller. Only 0.5% more women died than men. 
Here in figure one, you can see the rates of death in men and women 30 days after checking into the hospital with blocked heart arteries. In the graph, the x-axis represents men in orange and women in purple. The y-axis represents the percent of patients who died. We learned two things about heart failure. One, people with heart failure were more likely to die, whether they were men or women. And two, just under 3% more women than men had heart failure when they checked in. We also noticed two other curious trends. Women went to hospital later than men after they started having heart problems. Also, they did not receive the same levels of a heart attack treatment called reperfusion therapy. In figure two, you can see the rates of heart failure in men and women after checking into the hospital with blocked heart arteries. In the graph, the x-axis represents men in orange and women in purple. The y-axis represents the percent of patients who had heart failure. Discussion. Our study is important because it was the first to look only at sex differences and rule out other hidden reasons. We can now be more certain that men and women's bodies respond differently to heart disease, but we don't know exactly how it works yet. We saw a much bigger difference in deaths for women with fully blocked heart arteries compared to partially blocked. Because of this, we think the amount of blockage and whether or not the patient had a heart attack might have something to do with heart problems in women. Heart failure could also be an important factor. Patients with heart failure, men or women, were more likely to die, but women were more likely to have heart failure. We think heart failure could be one of the reasons we see more deaths in women. We're not sure why women waited longer to seek treatment at hospital or why they were less likely to receive the very helpful reperfusion therapy. This could have more to do with gender or our ways of moving through society based on our sex. However, according to our statistics, these reasons did not cause the different death rates. Conclusion. Until recently, we didn't know much about the health differences between men and women, but we do know that our sex affects the way our bodies develop. Think about your own health and development. Can you list the ways your body changes as you go through your teenage years? As more women become scientists, we can expect more research on women's health. Look into different types of science research areas that interest you. Why not look up important female researchers in those areas and learn more about their work? Thank you for listening to this recording. Visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources.